Where's my list? Where's my list? I made a list. This is the list of plants I'm going to buy to put on my patio. And it's getting late. It's actually like late in the growing season, so I've got to go and get these plants. Okay. All right, I know I'm gonna grow some food, but I'm gonna get the pest plants. So definitely basil. Basil um, does away with pests, I hate them. And lavender, and I wanna get some marigolds for sure as well. Um, all of this is really the stuff that plants hate. They hate thyme, oh, sorry, pests, they hate thyme. They don't like sage or oregano. So they put it all in one section. That was nice of them. <laughs> Okay, so I've missed a lot of the growing, like when you would plant stuff, but in May, you can plant all kinds of peppers and they will do great. Bell peppers, you only get like a few peppers in the whole season from the plant. So I wanna do some smaller, like these kind of peppers as well. I'm gonna end up giving some away, but it's worth it. Um, that's one of my foods. Yeah, but see like this will only give me like a few peppers, but I'm, I'm probably still gonna get one or two bell peppers. Lemongrass is another good one that I'll get rid of um, pests, but I want to grow some squash. It won't be ready till like early fall, but I definitely wanna do some zucchini. And maybe some heirloom squash. Cucumber is another option. I just don't wanna do it. <laughs> okay, it's looking good, right? So this is what I brought back. These are citronella plants. These are the mosquito fighting plants. I've got some lavender plants in here. Those will help with pests. I'm probably gonna get marigold, but flowers are next. I've got thyme, which also helps with uh, pests. I got basil because I love a good pesto. So as that grows out, I'll start picking it for pesto. I've got some zucchini, some squash, yellow squash, and um, bell peppers, Marconi bell peppers in here. And I think that's it. Um, I'm going to do flowers next. I just wanted to see what kind of space this takes up on my patio like table. These are just going to go in on the ground on the patio, but then I'll buy flowers next. And I may get a tomato plant. We'll see. Y'all see my hair? Isn't it? Like the shape is A1. I finally got a cut. I went and got a curly cut. I will link the stylist below. I will not be sharing this experience on YouTube, mainly because when I go to a stylist for the first time, I do not tell her what I, like I have a YouTube channel. I don't film her, nothing. Or them, I should say, cause yeah, I don't know her pronouns. But so yeah, yeah <laughs> this is definitely an, a Patreon exclusive on YouTube they will see and I will tell them that my hair I got a haircut but this is a Patreon exclusive. This is terrible lighting but I feel like this should become a staple of my vlogs because this is just how it is in the morning. I have the the light uh, by the stove on not the highlight up there. Um, I'm in the middle of making a grit bowl which if you don't know usually has grits, eggs, and either sausage or bacon. I'm waiting for my bacon to finish. It'll beep in one minute we'll see how it is. I want it to be a bit crispy. But while I'm doing that, I'm also getting ready to leave because I'm hopping on a plane very shortly. Um, and some of you have asked to show my travel essentials, so I'm gonna show you a few things. I still need to pack my tech bag, so I'll show you that. Um, and some other like little small pouches that I, I keep going. But let me keep going, because like, I probably have like 30 minutes to eat, clean that up, and then call my Uber, as my dad calls it. And my sister tells me I'm going to hell because I don't correct him. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of light in here because my grow lights are on for my plants. I want to give them a lot of light before I leave, so please excuse all that light. So here I'm taking my Telfizi this time. This is a work trip. I take some kind of tote or backpack depending on what I need to bring. This time I am taking one computer, <laughs> and so I'm taking my Telfizi. So a few things I keep in this Telfizi. I keep a purse, usually empty, but this time my pouch has all my money stuff in it already. Um, because that's the kind of, I'm using my crossbody little fanny pack this time. It just depends on what purse I take, whether there's stuff in it already. I take my vitamin pouch in here. 
I actually, this is a newer thing. I started it last month. Um, and this actually is great because I can keep it on my counter during the week and refill it. It has the days of the week, I'll link it. But also, I can just throw it in my bag, right? It's really easy and I love that. One of my pouches I keep in my tech bag, which is different, I think, oh, sorry, in my bag that's like on my shoulders or can be on my shoulder. It's different than most. This is where my teeth stuff is. I do not keep it in my toiletry bag. Why? My toiletry bag. It's in a suitcase. It'll be a carry-on. Sometimes those get checked, right? Sometimes you fall asleep on the plane. Sometimes you eat at the gate and you need to brush your teeth. I don't want to have to dig through a big bag, right? My suitcase. I don't want to open that and stuff. Or sometimes I'm land. I'm on the go. I'm going to a meeting. My next meeting is coming. I want to floss or something. Keep my toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, and mouthwash in this little pouch. It's not big, but it's perfect. This was from Target a while ago. You will notice a theme. I have these Orla, Orla Riley pouches, so I keep it in here. Another pouch, my tech pouch. Let's fill this up. So I have I already put my AirPods in here. All right, so how do I keep this easy? My block here. This block has two ports, right? I can use my computer cord on here and I can use my four phone cord on this block. And so I need one block, two cords and AirPods. And that's all I take. I don't need a lot of things. Um, most things will remain charged. I do have my iPad in here that I use to take notes in meetings. Um, I have to use an iPad mini for that purpose, but it remains charged a long time and my computer cord works to charge that as well, right? And this pouch is another Orla Riley pouch for Target. I, I'm telling y'all, I bought a lot of those at a time, one time when they were like really popular and I use them still. Oh, that's my bacon. All right, I've got about 20 minutes. So here's my grit bowl. Maybe you could see the bacon, the eggs. I did cheese grits, I did cheddar cheese. It's, it's, a, it's a white cheddar because I was trying to finish the cheese I've been eating with my charcuterie, the cheddar, because it was it was starting to go bad fast. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this. Still have a little bit of tea left, Georgia peaches. And then clean up before I go. That's the one thing I like to do. I always like to clean up and fill my water container before I go. That way when I come back, at least I'm coming back to a clean place. I have water. <laughs> and if nothing else, like it's that small bit of comfort that I need. black over by the plant people because I want some marigolds that will complete what I want to do for now marigolds they keep pests away and they're inexpensive I'm gonna get an orange and a yellow for color purposes I don't want this whole thing <laughs> I found what I was looking for see these are only two dollars for these and I can put a couple in a pot I want to do an orange one and a yellow one but I want it to be more full you see that little one there and some there those are gonna that's gonna get good so those and then I want a zinnia zinnia <laughs> see zinnia that's upside down but zinnia but I don't want all of these again I just want like one or two so I've got to find the single zinnias <laughs> Home Depot though the plug two bucks Y'all, my patio garden. Oh, okay, let's look at it. I love it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm keeping my chiflera out here. And then that's one of the lavender plants. That's one of the pepper plants. A miracle. Don't they beautiful? The <sighs> They're getting washed out. Okay, the miracles. Remember when I bought this at Trader Joe's the other day, or the week? Thyme, lavender, another pepper plant, basil. I have to clean everything up. Citronella, gotta have citronella. I'm actually giving that pepper 
Bring it to my brother-in-law when I go to their house tomorrow. Thyme, or oh, sorry, <laughs> rosemary. Another citronella plant. This is one of my favorite spring plants. Love this. Just bought it fully, fully happy. That's what it's called. Okay. Sitting right there, right next to my couch, which I love. Another one of my, another one of my flowers is out here. My tall dracana is out here because I need to repot it, and I'm gonna keep it here, but I gotta repot it. And then all four of those are zucchini. And that's my last pepper plant, and it's all behind my bench here, which I sit here and read and everything most days. On my oh, and I have my carpet still here, and that that's here. I, these are where my hurricanes are outside now. One, and then the other one is out there, so I have like ambient light at night. And I just, I'm so happy with this. I've got to sweep this, but I'm very happy with this. I may get one more colorful plant. I'm thinking like petunias, but that's it. So I made Haitian Epis um, a couple weeks ago, like probably three or four weeks ago. And so I'm going to use it in this recipe today. I'm trying a slow cooker recipe that I haven't made before, but like I'm making it my own <laughs> basically by using the epis mixture I made, which I do need to use before it goes bad. Slow cooker liners, the secret <laughs> to easy slow cooker cleanup. Cause all I'm gonna do is take this bag out and let that be that. This is actually noon o'clock. This is gonna cook for four to six hours. So I actually turned the slow cooker already on low, but cause it's low, so <laughs> you know. So I have two chicken thighs here. I'm gonna eat one tonight and one tomorrow. I have two russet potatoes, a bag of green beans, and a bunch of epis. I'm not gonna use all of it. So the epis does not have salt or pepper in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and season my chickens with salt and pepper. Um, let me go ahead and cut these. I'm just gonna cut them. Um, on the top, not all the way through. Bag of green beans, it's actually not gonna go in there for a while, so I'll put it back in the fridge. Then I'll season this chicken. Easy enough, right? And I'm just gonna cover the chicken. I really don't know how much it's gonna be. This will be my main flavoring because I'm gonna, um, you'll see. And then I'm just gonna put these bare potatoes on top cover it and I'll check on it in four hours time. I just made a charcuterie board for a snack. It's like a really small charcuterie snack. It's just what I'm feeling these days. I really love this Trader Joe's Toscano cheese, black pepper cheese with a bit of prosciutto and the pita crackers. Oh, and then I have a, a spread here. This is a fig spread that goes well with the brie. Mm. So good. So I'm gonna eat that and start this book. But I just got back from Alabama. <laughs> I don't think I ever said where I, where I was going or <laughs> anything. Um, I was there to work, but I did get to go to the Legacy Museum. That's been a, a place on my list for a while. And since I was going to Montgomery, I was like, I'll go a day early and go to Legacy Museum. So I went to the Legacy Museum and Memorial, and I really recommend it for anybody and everybody. If you can go, I think one of the ways that white supremacy is able to keep all of us in just its grips is us not knowing our shared history, right? And enslavement to today, that history of black Americans in the U.S. is a shared history. And what I really like about what is done in that museum is they really start from the slave ships and they take you to now but they, they really like put the pieces together for you as far as why our world is the way it is now. Why prison, prisons are the way they are. Like why all the black people are in prisons. Um, war on drugs. Various massacres. But then also just like the visuals from enslaved times, right? You get to see the ads and there's this whole um, kind of paying homage thing with dirt you'll only get a few if you read up on it on the website so i'll link the website 
This is the Equal Justice Initiative. Brian Stevenson's book is back there somewhere, Just Mercy. Um, read that years ago, so it was actually great. And I also got to meet Anthony Ray Hinton. Um, I think when I read that book, I gushed about it. The sun does shine. I think I gushed about it on here. And it was so funny because I got it before Oprah made it a bestseller. It's one of my few books that don't have the Oprah seal. Very happy about that. But it was it was delightful meeting him. He's an amazing individual. I'm ready for this. I want the brie. I want the brie. Put this on this pita cracker with the fig spread. Brie is great with um, berries, cranberries, figs, just the sweet berries. Brie is great with that. Y'all, I just checked it and didn't realize I wasn't recording, but I took one piece of chicken out because it was done. This is a bigger piece of chicken, the second piece of chicken, and it needs a bit more time, probably another hour. It's looking pretty good. It's very tasty. Um, the potatoes definitely need a couple more hours, so I'm just going to go ahead and let that keep cooking and check on it in another hour. When the chicken is done, I'll add the green beans and let that cook another 30 minutes at least. Dinner is served. I have my chicken, green beans, and potato. I just put salt, pepper, and a little butter on the potato. Hopefully that's good. It took longer than I thought it would. So I'm gonna make it again. And I'll share the ending result. Make it next week, I think. I'm happy with the result, I just have to tweak the instructions because uh, the way it was written didn't work for me but you know what really worked for me this book right here i read this while my food was cooking the last couple hours and this was so good so good i had a hard time putting it down mm. i didn't really put it down <laughs> i read it all the way through i read it in here when i was eating the charcuterie and then i finished it on my patio I get why this was so good. I mean, they say that this changed like the the suspense thriller market, but I read it because part two came out and or the sequel came out and there's been so much buzz about it because this has a cult following. So I'm going to read this, I think tomorrow. I, I'm, I really want to read it tonight, but I'm not going to do it because <laughs> that would keep me up. I'm just going to finish this or sorry, I finished this. So I'm just going to put this on the shelf start this one um i definitely want to keep this because this was really really good i think i'll find things in the second reading that i didn't get in the first this was not long either so if you're looking for like a good summer read spring summer read this is a good one it's like 260 something pages not bad and this one's short too so i'll definitely finish this in one seating as well it's probably about the same yeah about the same number of pages and i this is gonna be it. Oh no, I'm gonna have a dessert pop. And I wanna taste this, that with you all, because it's new. So let me eat and I'll be back. I have Murder She Wrote on the TV. Apparently I'm in love with crime. <laughs> Time for a taste test. So I was in Target picking up a few things. Oh, I needed printer ink <laughs> um, and some other things. And Target told me to buy these Talenti <laughs> mini mango sorbet bars. There was like a caramel flavor too, but I wanted to try this one. Um, does it smell like anything? And three bars is like 170, 120 calories. So one bar is doing really good for dessert. I'm gonna have some mint tea after this. Or I might just make it now and have it before this end. Mm-hmm. The texture is good. Nice and smooth. Lots of mango flavor here. Mm-hmm. It's giving me sweet craving satisfaction even though it's not a lot of calories. I don't know how much sugar is in it. It's a dessert. Yeah. I'm gonna make some spearmint tea, the two together. That's gonna be it while I watch Murder, She Wrote. Mm. Okay, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Don't be shy. Let's comment in the, in the comments below so we can chat until the next one. All right.